The following content is a short conversation between my AI assistants Nancy and me. We talk about a new technology for AI video editing called MIMO. This is a research project from Institute for Intelligent Computing, Alibaba Group. Ever watch a movie, you know, one with those crazy realistic CGI characters and think, how'd they do that? Oh, totally. Well, get ready to have your mind blown again, because today we're diving into the world of AI that's making that movie magic more and more real. Mm. And, you know, we're talking about some next level stuff with a new model called Mimo. Definitely next level. We're talking character video synthesis. Okay, so basically teaching AI to create moving, breathing characters from scratch. Pretty much, yeah. And Mimo saying, hold my digital paintbrush, I'm about to change the game. Bold statement. Now, we've seen AI image generators making waves, right? Mm. But turning those static pictures into characters that move realistically, like actually exist in a 3D space. That's the trick, isn't it? That's a whole other ballgame. No. We dug into their research paper, and it sounds like traditional 3D methods, they've always been a bit of a pain. Huge pain. Expensive, time-consuming. They often involve using multiple cameras to capture an actor's every little movement from every angle imaginable. Like building a digital clone piece by piece. Exactly. And don't even get me started on those 2D AI image generators. They might have taken the world by storm, but getting those images to move naturally whole other can of worms. Yeah, they often end up looking like, uh, what's the word? Like cardboard cutouts trying to break dance, you know? Not exactly the seamless illusion we're going for. Not even close. You need that depth, that understanding of how a body moves in 3D space to make it convincing. 100%. That's the secret sauce. So how does MIMO crack the code? Okay, get this. MIMO uses what's called spatial decomposed modeling. Okay, spatial decomposed modeling. Sounds complicated, but think of it like this. Imagine you're working with layers in Photoshop, right? You've got your character on one layer, background on another, maybe some objects in between. Touch it. MIMO does something similar, but with code instead of your artistic talent. So it breaks the video down into these different parts, kind of like giving the AI X-ray vision to see the scene's underlying structure. Exactly. And by separating those elements, the AI begins to understand depth the relationships between things, even though it's looking at a flat 2D video. And that's what makes it believable. 100%. It's like teaching the AI the difference between a character walking behind a tree and awkwardly glitching through it, you know. So MIMO uses this spatial whatever to understand depth. And it can animate some pretty wild movements too, right? Oh yeah, the website is like, check out all this cool stuff MIMO can do. They went all out. For sure. And one of the things that really impressed me was this arbitrary character control. Arbitrary. Okay, we need a translation on that one. Basically, it means MIMO can take a single image, any image, a photo, a cartoon, even like a random object. Hold up, objects. You're telling you this thing could make my desk lamp do the Macarena. Pretty much. The research paper did mention MIMO is really good with different shapes, so yeah, your lamp might look a bit more natural than a square trying to dance, but you get the point, right? It's incredible what MIMO can animate from just one image. Yeah, it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. But what about the movement itself? I've seen enough janky CGI to last a lifetime. You know what I mean? Yeah. How does Mimo make it look smooth and not all stiff like a robot? It's all about this thing they're calling, get this, novel 3D motion control. Okay, you lost me again. Novel. Right. But think of it like, imagine a digital skeleton, but one that moves like a real body, all those little nuances and stuff. So my MIMO uses these structured body codes, which is basically like mapping out those key points in 3D space. So instead of just moving a flat image around, MIMO gets how a body actually works. It's like giving AI anatomy lesson. Right. And the results, they're pretty amazing. They've got videos of characters doing parkour, some crazy dance moves, even mimicking fight scenes. There's this one, they took a martial arts clip, like a spinning kick or something, and Mimo put that exact same move on a totally different character. I'm looking at this, and honestly, I'm just kind of speechless. But you know what really gets me? That interactive scene control thing. We've all seen those CGI fails where the characters look like they're floating in a void, right? No connection to the background or anything. How does MIMO avoid that? That's where our friend's spatial decompose modeling comes back in. Ah, there it is again. Remember how we were talking about layers, like the, yeah. the digital archaeology thing? Yeah. That's how MIMO figures out how the characters should interact with the background, objects, other characters, all that. So like the shatters change when the character moves, things get hidden if they walk in front, you know, all those little details. Stuff that makes it real. 
Exactly. They've got this example. It's a character in a real kitchen, like walking around a table, picking stuff up. And the shadows are perfect. Even when they walk by the window, it just, it works. You'd think it was real. I'm looking at it and I almost can't tell anymore. Right. But as cool as this is, there's got to be a catch, right? Nothing's perfect, especially with new tech. You're not wrong to be skeptical. The website makes it look incredible, but I think it's time to put on our deep dive hats and look at the research paper. That's where they get into the nitty gritty, the limitations, all that. So what's the catch? What's hiding in the research paper? Well, for starters, let's talk about the data MIMO was trained on, this thing called HUD-7K. HUD-7K, and what's the deal with that? It's a mix of real videos and synthetic ones. Synthetic, meaning like AI-generated videos. Thingo, which is kind of a double-edged sword, right? On the one hand, Mimo gets to learn from all these different movements and scenarios, which is great. But on the other... It might pick up some of the like quirks of those AI-generated videos mm -hmm. instead of you know, perfectly mimicking how real people move. Exactly. It's like, imagine learning to play classical piano, but only on a keyboard. I get it. You get the basics, sure, but it won't sound quite the same as a real grand piano, right? The paper even mentions this, how Mimo's really good at recreating the synthetic movement. So it's like super realistic, but maybe a little too realistic. Yeah, and that's where we might bump into that whole uncanny valley thing. Where it's almost too real and it gets a little creepy. Exactly. And then it becomes less about the tech itself and more about how it's used. Like, imagine if filmmakers started using MIMO to bring back, like, actors who've already passed away. Whoa. It'd be impressive, technologically speaking, but is it ethical? I don't know. Yeah, that's a whole other conversation. I guess it's good to be aware of the downsides, right? Not just the wow factor. Totally. It's about engaging with this technology thoughtfully. Absolutely. So... To wrap things up, MIMO can do all this incredible stuff, but there are some things to keep in mind, especially as it gets even more advanced, right? Oh, for sure. And that brings us to the big question, the one we'll leave you all with. What happens when MIMO gets unleashed on, like, the entire internet? You're talking about all those videos on YouTube, TikTok, movies, everything. All of it. It's a massive amount of data. And who knows what an AI like MIMO could do with that? Create whole new worlds, bring back historical figures. The possibilities are mind-blowing. A little bit scary, to be honest. Like, where does reality even begin at that point? Right. It's exciting and terrifying all at the same time. But that's the thing with AI, isn't it? It's always pushing those boundaries, making us rethink what's possible. Well, there you have it, folks. A deep dive into the world of AI character animation and the mind-blowing capabilities of MIMO. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and we'll catch you on the next deep dive.